So we have uh, engaged in witty, witty banter for about 30 minutes. Such is the timeline. So, uh, hey everybody, welcome to our Dead Talk. Uh, today we have the Demogorgon, and uh, spoiler alerts are in effect for anybody that uh, hasn't seen Stranger Things. Yeah. So. Though in all fairness, I realized at about 4 p.m. today that I don't remember anything <laughs> from I the remember show. Bits and pieces. I remember Christmas lights yeah. and a pool. <laughs> and a bear trap. Uh, there's a bear trap? Yeah, they, they set a trap for it. Okay, oh. so Demogorgon's from the Upside Down. Mm -hmm. And they got the scientists that are studying it. Apparently, it has uh, the ability to make people feel scared. Yes. Like it has the telepathic ability to do that as well as dread has, uh, and fatigue. Yeah. And uh, the ability to influence electrical equipment. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, it can, it traverses the upside down through buttholes. And, <laughs> uh, it can, I think it can actually manipulate some objects while it's in the upside down, but not like a whole lot. But anyway, uh, the, the Nancy and Steve and Jonathan actually set a trap for it in the house with the light bulbs. Oh um, yeah, now I remember. And they had a they had the bear trap. Uh, Nancy had the gun, and then they were just gonna light the fucking house on fire. Like, I remember now. And it hurt it, but it didn't. It didn't kill it. So, which tells you this thing's strong as hell. Uh, but did you read any of the uh, add-ons? Because I thought that shit was fascinating. I did. I didn't get much. From it, other than like a lot of the flora of the upside down, I guess. Yeah. Like the moss and the, the lichen. Lichen. yeah, and the um, the mushrooms, the thorns, the webbing, the goo. Yeah. A lot of flora in the Upside Down. Yes. So, who do you think is first dead? I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't think about who would be first dead. All I said to myself was, I want Adam to live. My thought, you gotta follow my thought processes here. Okay. Michaela. Okay. Because when we saw Michaela, we we're like, wow, Dino really looks like Michaela. You know who else Dino looks like? Barb. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know, fine. Fine. <laughs> the Barb glasses come back. <laughs> I can I can do this for an hour and a half. God, I so, look at me. Yeah, that's that's why I was like, it's Michaela, you know, Nancy's going to end up being like, oh my God, she reminds me of Barb. And then she's going to end up <laughs> shagging Steve by the pool. Michaela's out there with her fucking book and gets, gets <laughs> yeeted into the upside down by the Demogorgon. Okay, I'm good with that. <laughs> and then last Survivor, I had... Then Nancy nobody has Steve. ever made that comparison. <laughs> Uh, Nancy, Steve, and Meg. As your last survivors? Yes. I, I did think oh, it would be appropriate for Nancy and Steve to... It's like they've, they've made it through before. I can't type. Um, my eyes are just... <laughs> These glasses are only just slightly off of my current prescription. Like, I feel bad killing the, the most recent survivor, but, I mean, that really no, is it, flawless. <laughs> it checks out. I want to see, give me, like, a second. I want to see if I can find, remember when we did makeup night? Yes. I want to I was. I was the wall with the Christmas lights. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay. 
Hold on. I'm going to see if I can find the pictures Aaron took. Maybe. So it's like I, I dressed up for all those things, but I did not put a lot of effort into any of it. <laughs> like video game night, I was the ghost from Pac-Man. It was just a blanket with holes cut in it. <laughs> Oh god, I found my Ron Swanson costume. That's still one of my best to this day. <laughs> or the uh, the Nickelodeon day and uh, what's her name just drew Daggett from the Angry Beavers on my face for me. <laughs> oh god, I remember that. I'm looking at that one right now. Okay, um, where's Stranger Things? It's gotta be around here somewhere. There's fucking uh, what was it called? Johnny Depp Night. <laughs> Yeah. It was after Johnny Depp Night. When was it? There's video game characters where I did Borderlands. Hmm. My Barb pictures are lost forever. I know. Yeah, because there's the 80s glam. It was the same year as we did the 80s glam night. Like, I feel like I've seen them recently for some reason. But I will expose myself here and now. This is me in the middle as Ron Swans. <laughs> and my sister was Leslie Nope. <laughs> and it is. I also kind of look like like the BTK killer at the same time. <laughs> But this is one of my favorite costumes that I've ever done, ever. And I love it so much. <laughs> my god, you look so different when you were young. <laughs> I know, literally, me seven years ago, like, I've aged so fucking much. Hold on, let's see. Oh, my old clown costume. I remember that. No, I was adorable when I was 20. <laughs> I look back at pictures uh, of when I was like 20 years old and I was like, I was precious. <laughs> the fuck happened in a decade? Oh, I moved to Los Angeles. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really ruined me from the inside. Yeah, I think the I think the Stranger Thing pictures are actually in the makeup group, but I think I got kicked out of it when I stopped working there. That makes sense. Unless I vo I voted in that group for a long time before they finally realized that I was still there. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check Aaron's shit. Because it might be. Maybe. Maybe not. There's the dent glamour shots. She just has like a million photos. Yeah. Oh, to be an internet celebrity. <laughs> Their wedding looked cool as fuck, though. Did you see pictures from it? Nah. She had a red wedding dress. Nice. I'm sorry, is that her with Trixie Mattel? Holy shit, she got a picture with Trixie! I've never actually been jealous of Aaron before, but now I am. <laughs> oh, well, the photos of me as Barb exist somewhere on the internet, and I will never yeah. find them. One day, if we find them, we can, we can upload them to the Discord or something. You met Joe Swanson from fucking Family Guy? Oh my god, no. <laughs> 
No, absolutely not. All right. You... So let's let's kill some bitches. <laughs> All right, Michaela's first dead. <laughs> Barb bait. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nancy was like, I can't wear you these. Look just... Nancy was just like, you look just so much like Barb. I feel so bad for, you know, her dying while I was banging Steve, and then you know everybody forgot about her. <laughs> Let me just do the exact same thing to you. <laughs> I'm a good friend. The resurface when you're rich and famous, and Twitter wants to ruin you. I don't think that'd be a way to ruin me. They were great. I still have the costume. <laughs> like I could just do it again. <laughs> My hair is longer though, so it's difficult. Um, okay, so, Michaela reminds Nancy of Barb, Nancy and Steve go to bang, Michaela gets just dragged into the Upside Down, we never see her again. Yep. Done. Um. Nobody ever mentions her again. <laughs> they do mention her. There's a whole episode where Nancy goes to talk to Barb's parents. Mm -hmm. Um... Let's see. We need a plot. Yeah, we really do. Because <laughs> otherwise, like, I'd just be like, yeah, then all, he just, the Demogorgon comes out of a butthole in Elodie's room and rips her to shreds and then goes back in the butthole and resurfaces and now he's in Fung's room and, like... <laughs> <laughs> Demogorgon just kills everybody like sorry he just came out of the butthole nobody was expecting it the end shortest <laughs> dead talk ever <laughs> the witty banter took longer than the dead talk <laughs> but I mean Nancy and Steve have been through this before they have so wouldn't they go get the teen squad involved oh easily so they alert the teen squad, and then it would probably just spread out from there. We got the cops involved because Michaela went missing. And uh, probably really sus that it happened at Steve's house again under the exact same circumstances. <laughs> that darn swimming pool. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so we, they can get the teen squad somebody eventually calls that Michaela is missing I think I could see Elodie and Zarina kind of doing their own independent sleuthing I also want to throw out that uh, I also think Jake is going to die because he's a doorsman out on his own oh no <laughs> just drag it like before they even like Nobody even knows where Jake is. He's nope. just out in the woods. He Nobody even dies. knows Jake exists. Yeah, he's he's been gone for a they're while. They're out searching for Michaela. They find a beanie and they're like, hmm, this is weird. <laughs> <laughs> where did that come from? Uh, probably blew in on a breeze. Bill can be Bert. that old guy who like has a story of like when I was young, I remember kids went missing all the time and nobody ever believed me. Yeah. Bill believes in his heart of hearts that Demogorgon exists and that he's seen it before. That's why he's got away. That's why he has a stockpile of like weaponry if it ever shows its face around here again. I say if people that are likely to get picked off as the investigation's going on, I feel like Jake and Mia are probably gonna be a uh, high risk. We can also throw Claudette in there. If we want to say she's out doing some botany stuff. I actually want to keep Claudette around for what For the actually... special botany. Yes. I, okay, I'm on the same page as you. I like that. So we can get rid of Jake and Nia. Who else is Death. easily expendable? Death by butthole. <laughs> um... Uh, Dwight? I would be with David. I feel like I feel like they might be okay for a little bit. I could see Kate going down. She goes out in the woods all the time, plays <sighs> for no fucking reason. You right, you right. That's a good one. Who else? Because if we can just eliminate some people who just like just mysteriously go vanishing, 
Because, like, that's what I've noticed with Demo is that he doesn't seem to go for a lot of, like, multiple targets at once. He picks them off. Yeah, it seems to prefer to go one at a time. Yeah. Which means... People that are likely to be paired up are probably not going to (gasps) be... Which means Yunjin would be on her own. Yeah. So she would be one to go. That's when they know shit's really hit the fan, like that it's something that's killing them because they see one of her nails broken off on the ground. Oh god, no. <laughs> and, and they like, and she... no one actually ever heard about it is where it was like the clue. <laughs> Dirt on her shoe. Oh my gosh. That is like three hundred dollars a shoe. There's like there's no fucking way. <laughs> Some of the fur from her coat, just like tufts of it. Mm-hmm. Just scattered around. You know, like kind so of like, how after a, a cat gets a bird. Yeah. See your conversation we had earlier, it totally ties in. <laughs> it does. That's when they really start to take it seriously because Yunjin's a high profile and there's no way she would oh, a $300 shoe, let it get dirt on it, let her fur coat get ripped up, and one of her nails goes and breaks off. There's no fucking way. So Jake and Kate both just like vanish in the woods. Nobody ever hears yeah. from them. Nia yeah, they assume assume that Kate's out like getting that musical inspiration or some shit. Right. Nia. <laughs> Honestly, I could see her tagging Steve's empty pool. Um... Yeah. <laughs> How many and just, times has Nia died tagging stuff? Like, honest to God. <laughs> oh, oh, it's it's a trope at this point. No joke. Okay, so Michaela goes missing, and then, like, a couple of weeks later, Nia just, like, breaks into Steve's place and is tagging the pool, finds, like, her glasses, and is like, this is cool, and just, like, keeps at it, and then Demogorgon shows yeah. up. <laughs> and then Yunjin, the, the one that's really going to draw attention, get the police involved. Yeah. I don't know where she's at that she's going to get attacked by Demo, but. Mm. She, I couldn't see her just like chilling out in the woods at all. No, no. Um, I could see her going to like. So it takes place, place in Indiana, I would assume. Unfortunately. <laughs> Which means she's probably, like, passing through and has to go to, like, one of the really shitty gas station bathrooms. I could see (laughs) Timo getting the embarrassing bathroom death Uh, at a rickety speedway in Hawkins, Indiana. I was going to say outside of Lafayette. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Hey, Lord, still Phoebe. Oh, my gosh. Going good. So, yes, our embarrassing bathroom death will go to Yunjin. We haven't had a bathroom death in a while. The last one we had was also at a gas station. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ironic. It was Jeff against the Wraith. (laughs) Okay. So. So now the police are really involved. Now they actually give a shit. Yeah. The teen squad's already been involved. They've been. Ever since Michaela went missing. Yeah, they've been in the background, like, trying to figure out what the fuck's going on. Um, I imagine this timeline is actually, like, a couple of weeks. Yeah. Slow burn of murder. (laughs) Tag your fanfic. Um, Okay, so... You know how Nancy and Jonathan go to that conspiracy theorist dude for help? Yes. Yes. So how do you feel about the teen squad trying to find some help with a supernatural thing and they're like, I've heard of a guy. Ash? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) The teen squad gets a new leader and his name is Ashley Williams. Yes! 100%! They come to get him and he's like, yeah, I've banged a ghost before. (laughs) Oh my god. It was in a bathroom too, so you know it's related. 
No, that's great. No, I love. I absolutely love that. Oh my god! <laughs> I was thinking at first you were going for Bill, and then no. I was like, but yeah, no, Ash is perfect. That's great. <laughs> And then Ash has his girl Elodie on speed dial also, because she yeah. knows all of the occult shit. Mm -hmm. And he's just like, this is a big one. We got a bunch of missing people. I need your help. <laughs> so we have Elodie and Ash teaming up. Please. Oh my god, it's beautiful. This is what I Calling needed. in all the favors. <laughs> Who else could he call in then? Okay, so he's calling in Elodie. Uh, let's see. He could call in Bill for ammunition. <laughs> yeah, he, he might call in Bill. Bill's probably, like, responsible for half of his attachments at this point. Um, so we got the leader, the brains, the muscle. I feel like he would call Ace for some reason. <laughs> the luck. I don't. Yeah. Ace is just his good luck charm. Yeah, he's like the lucky rabbit's foot. Except it's just a lucky Ace. <laughs> and nobody wants him around because he smells funny. But Ash insists. I love this. Okay, hold on. Let me... Take note real quick. So we have the teen squad together. This is Nancy, Steve, Lori, Quentin, Fung, and Cheryl, right? Yes. Those yeah. six. We also have, they go to Ash, who pulls together yes. his elite squad of Elodie, who I feel like is the only actual capable one. Yeah. Bill and Ace. <laughs> yeah. And um, we have the cops. So David, Jill, and Leon are investigating. Uh, that would... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. David. I keep... Whenever somebody says David, I think it's David King and not Tap. <laughs> Did I say David and not Tap? Yeah. It... Oh, I mean, I... technically David, it, you know... It is his name. David Tap, but... I'm just not used to hearing it. <laughs> no, I usually say tap, so that's also on me. I don't know why I said David. Um, so tap Jill Leon. Hired by the teens. Okay. See, Zarina's probably doing research on what happened to them, so she's probably doing herself a nice little story. We could. I could see Jane there for talk shows, like trying to talk to friends and stuff. Zarina could go missing while she's doing her own personal investigation stuff. Oh. Hold on. Let me just put a note here. Alright, so Jane's show is like interviewing family <laughs> in the most vulturistic way. Alright, so we need to take care of what Felix, Jeff, Adam, David, Claude, Megan, Dwight are doing. I could see Adam and Claudette being called in as like research people. Called in by the, you know, the, 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 uh, Hawkins actual, the lab. Oh, like they actually work at the fucking lab? Yeah. No, that would be so cool. Okay. Adam and Claudette. Claudette would love that job. Oh, yeah. They're absolutely. just like, we brought back some mushrooms. And she's just like, I love fungus. <laughs> <laughs> my sister literally bought moss by the way <laughs> fucking biology nerds man um anyway okay so Dwight and David will probably be together 
Um, so that leaves Meg, Jeff, Yui. Oh, yeah, Yui. I forgot about Yui. So Meg was on your list to live. For one reason and one reason alone. She can run fast. What would happen to Megan if she had the red moss, considering the description, consuming its leaf enhances its athletic performance and causes euphoria? It's like imagining Mecha Meg. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's great. <laughs> that's amazing. I love that. <clears throat> that's phenomenal. Okay, cool. Do we want Meg to also work at the lab? <laughs> yeah, she volunteers as a test subject. Like how you go and get college students. You're like, you give them 10 bucks to do something. Yes. Like $10 to eat this moss. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, because that lab was ran by some sketchy ass people. They would absolutely do shit like that. The they 80s were David wild. Dwight in there too, because I feel like they might be looking for some extra cash. Okay, so wait, let me actually yeah. like put them slightly separate then. So Meg, Dwight, and David, lab rats. So Meg would get the red moss. Could give Dwight the leprous lichen. Causes severe yeah. hallucinations. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. What um, other options are there? Let's see. There's the mushrooms that are just, like, inconclusive. And... I was going to say, the, uh, the violet wex cap, a dark flesh mushroom from the upside down that allows the Demogorgon to telepathically distort the senses in its prey. We could uh, <laughs> send Dwight and David on a fucking rampage. <laughs> <laughs> or that's what draws the attention over to Hawkins' lab is literally the the fact that there was a goddamn bloodbath. Like there was one person that survived in the study, and it was Meg because she's hopped up on red moss and has like fucking superpowers and can run like crazy. <laughs> But Dweet and David were just hallucinating and just killing everybody. <laughs> oh, man. But Adam. <laughs> Adam can be the sole survivor from the oh, well, they lab were, they massacre. Were, you know, they always have different people. Like, they got the people that are, like, in the lab doing research, and then they got the people that deal with the, you know, that actually give the the tests out, you know? Okay, okay. So they didn't necessarily kill the researchers. They just killed the people that were administering. <laughs> Who else did we have left to add to Felix. this? And Jeff. And Jeff. And Yui. Yes. I mean, we could just easily make them also lab workers. I couldn't see them being lab workers. Jeff's the janitor. Jeff is in charge of <laughs> cleaning the needles. Yeah. just needed somebody that's really good at that. He's the cleanest man in this entire roster. I will stand by that to this day. Until they get rid of the perk aftercare. Yeah. Which is about tattoos and not bondage. <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> um, what if Felix ended up working with Elodie since he's you know, he tends to at least being her social network. So he volunteers to go and work at the lab as like a a spy. You know, Ash oh. is doing like all the crazy shit that that has nothing to do with demo, but Elodie's actually like being the responsible person. And <laughs> she might send you know, she might have connections with Yui. So Yui you know, like, in case something goes wrong so Yui can protect Felix. <laughs> so 
So, okay, okay, hold on, hold on. So Adam Claudette and Jeff legitimately work at the lab. Yui also legitimately works at the lab, but also is very closely tied to Elodie, who's been investigating, like, the weird shit that happens at Hawkins' lab. Yes. Elodie sends Felix in as a secret agent. Yes. Because he does have that 007 look about him. He does, and... (laughs) It's the suit. He gives me the impression that he's got, like, connections. If nothing else, he might be able to get, like, a tour of the facility. Ooh, I could see that. Okay. You know, he's he's an investor. (laughs) Okay. I like this. All right. So, the teens have hired Ash, who uh, brings along his merry gang. To try to, fu- I I guess if we go with the Barb plot line, they're not accepting Michaela's dead, yeah. and they're gonna try to to save her from the upside down. So that's what these all are doing. Uh, Tap, Jill, and Leon are actively looking into all of the missing persons, mostly Yinjin. and then Zarina doing her own investigation. Jane. Talk show host vulturing on the families. Yeah. Um, Adam and Claudette doing a lot of research at the lab. Jeff cleaning. He also works in the lab. He cleans the equipment. Yui, I don't know what she does at the lab, but she also works there. They didn't hire her for the scientific work. They hired her because she's terrifying. If if Demo breaks in, they're like, I think she (laughs) might be able to take him. I love that. And then Meg, Dwight, and David are test subjects within the lab. Yeah. Do we want to go straight to Dwight and David at the lab? Dwight Dwight and David, uh, they die there after going on a fucking murder spree and killing a bunch of employees until they, because they they consumed uh, the lichen and the uh, mushroom. Started hallucinating and <laughs> God, I wish I could spell. Um, <clears throat> do we want them to take care of anybody from this lab list plus Felix? Let's let's have them take Jeff. Oh, tragic! I knew you were gonna say that. Hey, everybody in that group has the capacity to run the fuck away, but Jeff just is not that fit. Oh, to be caught between David and Dwight. (laughs) (laughs) One would say it is but a dream. (laughs) Okay. Um... So I, I think like at that point, like Adam, Claudette, Yui, and Meg would be together in a group because Meg consumed the red moss and is now like <laughs> super Meg. Yes, Mega Meg, <laughs> a Mega Head. Um, <laughs> okay, so I think that uh, they obviously wouldn't. The cops would never know about this. <laughs> No. Never. Um, but I could see Felix passing the word on to Elodie. Yeah. And so th- this whole group here would then know about the, the facility. The experiment that they that just happened. Yes. And- I could also see Zarina like tailing Nancy and Steve at this point. And she, like, goes to the facility with them and then dives there. I could see Zarina actually being ahead of everyone else. Yeah, that's that's also a possibility. I could see her tailing, like, Adam or Claudette and them just, like, never fucking realizing ever. (laughs) I don't know how we're going to get Jane involved in all this. Oh, it'll happen. We'll find a way. Okay. If this is like Jurassic Park, nature finds a way. (laughs) Okay, so Zarina. (laughs) 
Zarina could actually have been a casualty of the Dwight David thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know how to spell casualty. That's apparently right. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so take care of Zarina. Do we want to focus on the teen squad and their leaders of the supernatural? Or do we want to turn our attention to the cops? Generally, I feel like Especially with uh, Stranger Things, the cops don't do that great of a job. Yeah, no, I was totally going to have them, like, out in the woods searching for clues and just get... <laughs> yeah. Picked off one by one. First Leon. Yeah. First Leon, then Jill, then Tap. Yeah, pretty much. So we want to just knock them out real quick? Yeah, might as well. Okay. It's like they, they've experienced a lot of this stuff, but I mean, no one expects the butthole. <laughs> it's much like the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tap can actually see Jill get attacked, and then he's just like, gotta go! And like, but he can't run that fast because he's old. <laughs> okay. He tr he's trying to radio in for support, but Demo interrupts the, <gasps> the transmission. They've been oh trying my... to reach out for backup for like an hour. Oh my god. I love that. So... I could see Jane reaching out to Nancy and Steve for interviews mm -hmm. and Ash being the fucking genius that he is just goes, yeah, we're going to go do that interview. And by <laughs> we, I mean, Ash is going to show up with Nancy and Steve <laughs> and he's going to fucking blab about the, the laboratory. <gasps> <laughs> Like, Nancy and Steve never even get to say anything. <laughs> it's just fucking Ash. I love that. That's not how you spell Ash. This isn't Leak. Did you see Leaks getting a TV show? Yes. Are you going to watch it? Probably. Good. I don't think I will, but I thought of you. Every time I see the trailer, I'm just like, I hope Zen loves this. <laughs> It's like I've only seen three of the League of Legends characters. I saw the uh, I saw Jinx and V, and then I saw uh, the Donger. So that sounds like a really I dirty could... name. I'm not gonna lie. His name is Heimerdinger, and he has turrets, and everyone calls them Dongers. Oh, so everybody was like, "Raise your Dongers!" <clears throat> Whenever they're playing Heimerdinger's voice slide that says, "Raise your what?" <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I used to be a Heimerdinger main back when <laughs> Twisted Line was still around. Oh, gosh. I love that. Um, so now I feel like Jane's going to go to the place with her camera crew. Show up to the like, lab. The whole gang's going in now. If we send Jane first... By herself, we can get her taken care of. Yeah. I could also see, like, taking her to one of the buttholes and is like, all right, check this out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go in here to this, to this under, underground thing and just, like, takes out his chainsaw arm and just starts chainsawing <laughs> the butthole and just destroys it. And he's just like, okay, well, that didn't work. Uh, we'll get back to you. <laughs> I could see Jane doing the whole thing of, like, on camera, the recording, and she's just like, I'm outside Hawkins' lab, and then, like, the camera just starts going, like, all fuzzy and shit. Yeah. And you just hear, like, between the static, and occasionally it focuses in, but it's, like, all off kilter and shaky cam, and you just hear screams and, yeah, <laughs> like, the demo cord. <laughs> it's like Cloverfield up in there. Yes, exactly. <laughs> 
I, I, you know what? Just gets <laughs> Cloverfield. <in. laughs> I love that movie. I, uh, thank you. <laughs> I know so many people who hate Cloverfield. I, I saw. I got to see it twice in the movie theater. The first time I saw the whole thing, and the second time I waited until they were done at the party. And then I I showed up. So I showed, like, purposely 15 minutes late to the movie to get to the good shit. Yeah, the, the party part was just so... It, it actually, I had to watch it. I never saw it in theaters. I remember, like, I rented it. Because I was like, this is exactly the type of movie I would like. And I just remember, like, watching the first couple of minutes and being like, I hate this. <laughs> and I turned it off. And I had to come back to it a couple of years later. Where I was like, no, this is amazing. And then, have you seen Cloverfield Lane 2? Yes. Love it. I fucking love that so much. The sequel on Netflix, though, was ass. It was. <laughs> I was so disappointed. It was so bad. I did love that Cloverfield had a uh, an Easter egg to the, the giant movie monsters. That made me happy. Yes. Uh, it's just... It's, it's such a good universe. It really is. I love it. I feel like we all do have that stupid friend that would try and go back for somebody. And everybody's just like, oh my god, this guy's gonna fucking die if we don't help. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're getting into the meat and potatoes of this part uh, now. The, this is all of our main characters right here. Yes. We, we've killed off, we've trimmed the fat and we're ready to render the tallow. Let's go. Yes. So I feel like Nancy and Steve would describe to uh, the teen squad, Felix, Bill, and Elodie, what they did. I feel like Ash would just like, <laughs> be like, no, 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 I've done this before. And Ace <laughs> is like, at this point, like his his yes man, mm -hmm. just cheering him on, <laughs> hype squad. Uh, and then possibly... Claudette and Adam might give Yui the Red Moth too, so that we can have uh, two uh, very. Yeah. <laughs> the hesitation in your voice. Yui is just a fucking monster at that point. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I could see. I could see Adam, Claudette, Megan, Yui actually just, like, barricaded somewhere in the lab mm -hmm. where they're like, we're safe in here. And then mm -hmm. your whole idea of, let's give Yui some moths. Yeah. And then I'm sure if they told Yui, they're like, it'll make you as strong as this girl here. Yui would be like, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'm already stronger than she is, but let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Um. All right. So there's that. And then so they might start setting up some traps. Uh the teen squad and the gang. I feel like Ash is just going to try and fight a mano a mano like okay we're gonna lead them through these traps and then i'm gonna fight them <laughs> i think yes they set up traps i think ash could convince ace to play bait probably that's how ace just fucking dies yes 100 percent poor ace how unfortunate. Yeah. <sighs> okay. It's like I have faith in the teen squad because like Demo really only took out one teenager. I mean, technically also Will. <laughs> well, Will didn't die. But he did get caught though and dragged into the upside down. So we could have some of these not as survivors. Mm -hmm but not dead. Yeah. They could just go to the upside down. <laughs> just send Quentin in there and Quentin's like, eh, 
it's not as bad as some other places I've been to. Cheryl's in there. She's like, yeah, fine. This is like a vacation home. <laughs> <laughs> Just completely fine. No okay. fucks given. If they break into the lab... Um, like say they try to they try to set up some traps like out in the woods for example because that's where a bunch of people have been missed going missing right yeah so they try to set up some traps there ace gets caught as bait um ash is heartbroken <laughs> lots of spets right <laughs> just over dramatic mourning um but moment where he's just like everybody i love gets killed <laughs> uh and uh, but did did actually successfully protect everyone else from the demogorgon right mm -hmm. um and then they're like okay our next shot we should we should hit this where it starts and break into the lab yeah because that was like a whole plot thing right yes um uh, so this game could go into the lab they find that one room with the wall vagina. <laughs> Quentin and Cheryl can go inside. I could also see, since Fung is a gamer, like, Ash just automatically assumes that she's a hacker. <laughs> <laughs> you know computers, right? She's like, I play Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, 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 on the computer, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really cracked at Fortnite, dude. <laughs> um... No, that would be hilarious. And then, but what like, happens what the is, fuck is this? It's a modem, and it's going. <laughs> but like, <laughs> while she's trying her best, the demogorgon shows up and messes with all of like the technology. And so all of a sudden, the computers just like get all fuzzy, and then doors just start unlocking everywhere. And Ash is like, "Well done, kiddo." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Little did he know that she had managed to pull up Oregon Trail, and that was it. <laughs> she found the online emulator. Like, Ash was yelling at her. She knew she couldn't do it. She had Oregon Trail named everybody systematically <laughs> watching them all die of dysentery. <laughs> uh, Alright, so that's how they can get inside. Yeah. And then from here... Uh, we can just get rid of Quentin and Cheryl and Bill. I think he would volunteer to go in. Bill would be like, I have friends in there. Yeah. Um, and also he I could see him wanting to also like make sure that like Quentin and Cheryl don't die. Yeah. Um, so we just they just we never see them again. Yeah. Easy Maybe enough. Be a sequel. Ooh. Or well there, because demo's gone next week. Well, maybe he'll get replaced by something else. A bird. Uh... A bird. A bird lady. <laughs> no, they Come actually. The bowels of the butthole. Come the birds. <laughs> <laughs> the crow's nests are actually just the buttholes, but sized down. <laughs> All right. We can... Uh, we can have the rest of the gang find Adam, Claudette, Meg, and Yui. Okay. Which, if they mention the red moss at any point, you know Ash is going to want it because he's going to think it's going to be like Viagra. <laughs> Viagra for his muscles. <laughs> yeah. I just love the thought of them finding them and then Yui and Meg being so ready to fight that they just attack <laughs> when the door opens yeah. and Ash goes down and he's just like, it couldn't be better. <laughs> oh my God. What a way to go. <laughs> like, they don't kill him. But he gets the shit beat out of him and he loves it. <laughs> yeah, like they jump on him and then he makes one wrong comment and Yui just bust his balls 
literally. <laughs> uh, like Ash is gonna be a soprano for the rest of the week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm poor everyone else who has to watch. <laughs> yeah. Um but also knowing who's left in the the party, no one really intervenes either. <laughs> true. Technically Felix is actually down here with them cuz he's been in the lab. Yeah. Which means they were <laughs> It was only the teens and Ash and Elsie. There was only one responsible adult in the party at the time. That explains how this happened. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like trying to make a Canadian goose go where you want it to go. I could see Elodie and Nancy teaming up for trying to figure out how to stop the demogorgon from being able to come out yeah i could see them that being their mission steve tagging along but offering very little to the conversation other than looks i mean look at ash i feel like steve might look up to him <laughs> because he's a guy with a shotgun and a chainsaw arm who's very the good with whole... the ladies <laughs> The whole time he's been with Steve, he's like, let me teach you a thing or two. Like, going through, like, all his... He brags about sexual every... Sexual successes. Yes, every chance he gets. Yeah, no, that's 100%. It's Steve and Steve's Ash. Just, Steve's just hanging on his every word. A hundred percent. Oh... And so, like, him and Ash and Ace had been talking, like, the whole time until Ace got killed. And, uh, like, everybody else is being, like, responsible in the back, like, actually having a discussion on how to stop the Demogorgon. <laughs> yeah, so... so everybody, everybody has a legitimate plan except for Ash and <laughs> <laughs> So I think Nancy and Elodie... So I think Elodie's kind of, like, leading the we need to solve a way for the Demogorgon to never come out again. Yeah. Her and Nancy and working together, when they find the rest of these, obviously she knows Felix. Mm -hmm. And then she's probably heard of Adam and Claudette and knows that they know a lot, too. Yeah. So those five are going to be the core, how do we seal the butthole yes. gang. Ash and Steve, how do we blow up the butthole? Yes. Lori and Fung? Can be when the demogorgon comes back out can be casualties. Oh my God, uh, Lori's just been picking up moss and knitting blankets with it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if you can knit with moss. It falls I apart mean, so easily. You've seen some of the shit that comes out of the the buttholes. It's, it's pretty like stiff and gooey. Can you knit with stiff and gooey? With enough determination, I'm sure you can come up with something. Gross. Um, Maybe it's something with a hallucinogen in it. She thinks she's making a quilt. <laughs> she's literally just been, like, knitting the same goo for the last five hours. Disgusting. Um... And then Meg and Yui are just on standby to go fight the Demogorgon. <laughs> they actually hear Ash and Steve talking about violence. <laughs> and they're like, yes. <laughs> and Ash is like, back for seconds, ladies. <laughs> oh my god. I really need like to watch the Evil Dead show. <laughs> 
I started on it. That's like you can probably tell my quality of Ash knowledge like increasing as I watch it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's gotten better over the past couple months. <laughs> um. Okay. All I know about him is that line of "So Nancy, can I string your racket?" <laughs> oh God. Um. But yeah, so while they're forming plans, the Demogorgon can easily just come right back out and snatch up Lori or Fung or both. Yeah. I think Lori. Just because like, if we think back to Halloween, she's not very observant. No. Her reflexes aren't great either. I can just see hit like demo coming out of a butthole, grabbing her, and just screaming, and then the butthole just slams shut. <laughs> Alrighty, our numbers—they dwindle. So how are they gonna beat demo? Ash's plan is to blow the whole lab up. Okay. A hundred percent. Like what about if, the if, rest of them? <laughs> if if he could burn this place down, <laughs> he thinks that will solve everything. Um How did they At the end of season one, the kids thought they defeated the Demogorgon, right? I think so. How did they do it? Hold on. Because th I remember they did the whole, like, Dungeons and Dragons thing. Let's look up the um, Demogorgon weakness. And... Eleven got him. With psychic powers? Yes. So they need to give... Uh... We could go off of the Vermilion webcap. Still experimenting with this specimen. So far, our results are inconsistent. So we can use that as our deus ex, ex machina. It can mean anything we want it to mean. And Claudette can be like, we suspect that it can give some psychic abilities to certain test subjects. <laughs> yeah. Here's Meg, <laughs> our stand in 11. <laughs> I was going to say, Yui might volunteer too. She's uh, a very responsible person. She's a very responsible person. And also one of the scientists, so I don't think she would do it if she knows that it's inconsistent and doesn't always okay. work. Whereas so Meg, Meg is a test subject who's just probably just going to do anything she's told and they'll just be like, we'll pay you $75 more. <laughs> <laughs> she's been handling it really well. Much better than those two other guys. <laughs> uh, Meg is the mushroom. <laughs> Wait, what's it specifically called? The Vermilion Webcap. I could just see her. They're, they just like feed her the mushroom, and then like everybody's just staring at her, and they're like, Did you do anything? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Ash is just like, Come on, Steve Funk. Steve and oh Fung God. both go with Ash because <laughs> he's so proud of her hacking abilities. He's like, this one's smart. I gotta keep her with me. He's now, she's now part of his posse. She just got he's, like... <laughs> he's jumping off Jeff Ace and the others. He's just like, these are my people. <laughs> and he's just like, come on, kids. We're gonna go explore and find out the best... Uh, place like the weakest structure points of this place to blow to smithereens. <laughs> uh, so those three can go off on their own. Yes. And the rest of these folk are sticking with Meg to uh, as far as like her and Yui are going to be the fighters if Demogorgon yeah. shows up. They need Meg to learn how to do superpowers, like, right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, immediately. Yeah. Um, while she's learning, Demogorgon could show up again. And Yui goes to fight it, but isn't strong enough. Yeah. 
Like they, she knows that she has to hold out for Meg to figure out her powers. So she goes and fights it alone, but she's not strong enough. Tragic. Burr, burr, burr. Mm, goodbye, Yui. I love how Meg became a lemon. This is <laughs> fucking hilarious. Okay. And then. I think it'd be funny if Demo actually got a hold of Steve and Ash actually went into the went in after him to save him, his little protege. I love that. Poor Nancy when Fung tells her the news. <laughs> yeah, Fung doesn't follow at all. Like Steve gets dragged in. <laughs> Ash dives in after him to save his protege. Fung's just like, well, I'm going back to the responsible people. <laughs> all right let's take care of those that officially takes the uh let's blow up this place off of <laughs> the yeah. menu it's off the table fun goes back tells them nancy's distraught so sad she's lost both her replacement barb and steve <laughs> she's lost her barb her new barb and her steve <laughs> what a sad life nancy lives i know she's just can't keep a, a person in there. Um, <sighs> we. I really want Nancy to make it out of this alive. Yeah. Um, she's never. Say, te she's technically Steve's not dead. He's just in the upside down. <laughs> technically, he's not a survivor either, though. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> gone forever, but not forgotten. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can escape the upside down. You so. can, and then you puke up slugs. <laughs> yes. Um. He's just gonna come out with ash, just automatically in alcohol. <laughs> just aged ten years. <laughs> yeah. Um. So in the game. You get rid of the, the demo being able to come out through the Upside Down by just purely destroying the portal. Yeah. They rip it with their hands, but I'm sure there's tools and stuff around the lab. Yeah. Um, If Claudette and Adam were to give Felix the information of, like, this is where the main portal is. This is where we first found the creature and the Upside Down and where we've been gathering all of these beautiful plants. <laughs> yes. Um, they could come up with a plan of we just need to destroy the mother portal. Yeah. And that's when Fung so... comes back and says, I have terrible news. Yes. I think we need to lose at least one more person trying to do the main portal, possibly two. I was thinking at Meg, least two. Before Meg uh, finally gets her her powers and finishes the job. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, at this point, I think Felix and Fung are the most expendable. Yeah. So they, they, it could easily be them. All right, so Fung and Felix die during the, the blood hole sealing. Unsuccessful <laughs> butthole sealing. And then Meg finally gets a hold of her her powers and is able to take Demo wherever she takes Demo. And she goes along with it. So we get rid of Meg too? I Again, still alive, just in the... You know, if she's gonna 11 this shit, she's gotta go where 11 went. 
Oh, that's true. Meg has to seal the portal from within. Yes. That makes these four our final survivors. Yes, our survivors who are outside the Upside Down. <laughs> Who are actually not normal survivors for us. Yeah. So Nancy goes down real with quick. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty early on, typically. Uh we've had Adam, Claudette, and Elodie. No, I don't think we've had Elodie live before, have we? Or maybe the nurse one. Possibly. I think she did. She may have like survived once. Adam and Claudette have survived a couple times. Yeah, Claude survived Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Adam survived spirit. Yes. I okay. love it. So, uh, Nancy is distraught still over the loss of Barb, sees Michaela, and goes, My God, she looks just like Barb. <laughs> and Michaela dies just like Barb did. Goth Barb. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, Michaela gets dragged in to the upside down at the pool where Nancy is is banging Steve again. Meanwhile, we have Jake, who's always been a, a woodsy guy, has a tendency to go and play her guitar in the middle of woods, and Nia, who goes and tags everything and decided to go and tag Steve's pool, uh, they all go and, and get taken by the demo. But they, they, at this point, they're like, they're not really super concerned. The police aren't until Yunjin vanishes at a Indiana gas station, just a rundown speedway. <laughs> she dies in that bathroom because there was nowhere else to stop in this god awful state. And Excuse me, this is Indiana. It's actually Marathon. <laughs> okay. And. They know that she was not taken of her own free will because there was a shoe, a $300 shoe with some dirt on it. One of her nails was broken off and then pieces of her fur coat were all over the bathroom. So they knew this was definitely not great. Something bad so, happened here. <laughs> yeah. So the police are now on the case. Vanished in, in the gas station bathroom. Uh, meanwhile, uh, there's a group of people that are working at the lab and a couple of people volunteered to be lab rats for, uh, some stuff that's been pulled out of the Upside Down. Uh, Dwight, David, and Meg are given some goodies. Unfortunately, the lichen and the mushroom caused some hallucinations, uh, or, uh, being slightly telepathically controlled by the Demogorgon. And they go on a fucking murdering spree which Jeff is caught in. Uh, he was cleaning shit at the lab. And Zarina, who was trying to figure out where all these missing people were, was tailing Adam and Claudette and uh, got, ca got caught in the bloodlust between Dwight <laughs> and David. Uh, Dwight and David did eventually get put down, though. Unlucky. Meanwhile, the police decide to go searching out in the woods. Uh, they do find the demo. Uh, they've been trying to radio for backup, but unfortunately, the demo... Um, interrupts pretty much any electrical device or radio so they get taken down one by one without being able to successfully radio for backup so jane invites uh nancy and steve to go to her talk show <laughs> to get interviewed and ash says that's a great idea we should go by we he means he's going to go and he's going to do the talking and he blabs about uh the uh laboratory which they have uh was it felix is like their mole because mm -hmm. uh, he called in his his squad of professionals with ace <laughs> and elodie and bill bill um so he blabs about that so jane gets her camera crew to go and she gets clover fielded outside of the lab so <laughs> camera's shaking and everything static um, you know, just screams yeah. in the distance <laughs> So Claude, Adam, Meg, and Yui uh, end up bunkering themselves inside of an area, and they decide that... Oh, Felix Yui's is actually gonna... with them. I just oh, yeah. didn't note it at there. the time. 
uh, and they decide that they're going to get Yui the because Meg is a fucking super powered being now and Yui is much scarier than Meg so <laughs> gave her the moss to give her uh, superpowers meanwhile they decide to, the the teen squad and Ash and his gang decide to set up traps uh, Ace is used as bait uh, it doesn't work Demo uh, kills Ace um, but they need to open up the lab and Ash is like hey Fung uh you know how to hack, right? And Fung's like, no. And he's like, well, you use computers. And she's like, yeah, I play video games. And he's like, okay, well, go and hack and open <laughs> the lab up. And Fung ends up, like, running Oregon Trail and naming everything Ash and just, like, watching them all die of dysentery. Uh, and Demo ends up fucking with the electricity and opens up the lab. And Ash is like, good job. Like, <laughs> absolutely convinced that she did it. She's um, his new favorite. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fung and Steve, because Steve has been hanging on his every word. <laughs> because uh, the idea of that so dynamic, well. I love it so yeah. much. Uh, Clinton and Cheryl get dragged into the upside down. Bill uh, ends up volunteering to go in because he can't let them go alone and get killed. Uh, so they all go into the upside down. Uh, at that point, the gang finds the hiding people, you and Meg. Uh, when they when Ash kicks down the door, you and Meg beat the shit out of him. Uh, Ash likes it a bit too much. Uh, Yui kicks him in the balls. Um, Lori ends up getting snatched into a butthole uh, because she's unobservant. Um, at which point, they're like, we need to do something right now. And Ash and, <laughs> and Steve and reluctantly fung uh decide to go and try and nuke the place while everyone else decides to go the responsible route and want to seal up the place so they decide to give meg the vermilion webcap in hopes that she'll get the powers required to seal up the buttholes unfortunately she can't get the the powers right away and Demo shows up and uh, Yui decides to try and fight him until May gets her powers and she's not strong enough, but it does buy him a little bit of time. Uh, Demo retreats after that and then goes after Steve, who does get dragged into the Upside Down, but Ash is not going to let his little protege go down. So he dives into the butthole after him, probably fully expecting Fung to go. Fung is going back to the responsible adults the moment she sees Ash dive for it. Uh, she lets Nancy know that Steve is gone and uh, joins up with the uh, butthole ceiling. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not successful. Uh, Demo comes and gets Fung and Felix. And at this point, Meg finally gets her powers and takes the Demo back to the Upside Down, and seals the portal from within, leaving only Elodie, Nancy, Adam, and Claudette as the only people that are alive outside the Upside Down. Beautiful. <sighs> this is great. Yes. What a story. Um, just as a reminder for anybody who is watching, uh, Stranger Things is out of the game on the 17th. I think the 15th is the last day you can actually, like, buy stuff from the shop. If I remember correctly, I can't remember if it's the 15th and then, like, everything's available until the 17th. Um, mm -hmm. Or, like, the the lab is available until the 17th. Because I think the dates were a little bit different. But anyway, uh, next week's your last chance to get Stranger Things, um, is what I'm trying to say. So go do it, because while uh, you don't really need Steve and Nancy... Their perks are going to be general perks now. Uh, Demo's just a blast to play. Yeah. So if we need more Demo puppers in the world, they are now an endangered species. <laughs> Please go save them. Yeah. <laughs>